have, but you have these almonds okay. and this spoon. <laughs> She wasn't really pregnant. She's wearing a pregnant mean, costume. I've had nine fake babies. And, she's, <laughs> and, and it's Mardi Gras, so she's in this pregnant woman costume, and she's like drinking. Oh, it's hilarious. Whiskey or tequila. <laughs> There's always like some people that are like. What do you think? <laughs> Sometimes the funny thing about living in, in New Orleans is you don't actually remember the moment that you met because it is such a social city. New Orleans can be like a small town city. You know, so it's like you cross paths with people before you actually ever even meet them. Well, it's funny because I, I very distinctly remember meeting on Ace before I ever was performing burlesque and jazz. I had moved to New Orleans. I used to be a ballet dancer, and I met her through the opera. Right. I um, forgot about that. Oh, no, I remember. And it was so funny because we already had a network of friends. Yeah. And so then when I finally got to meet her, it, it felt like family. It's like, oh, I already know you. Yeah. Like. Now I actually have your number, but I know you. I know that story. I know that person. I know where you live. I also danced burlesque before yeah. I, before I met Trixie. So, oh. and I danced ballet when I was fourteen. <laughs> so the connections are. It's amazing. So I think that New Orleans has so many opportunities, especially being a woman, that there there's enough to go around. And I feel like we're all supporting each other. I really don't see that competitive nature, but that's in my world. I don't want to speak for everyone role of women as performers and thus in a way as objects has changed over time. So certainly the role of women historically yeah. has changed. So, so the women in jazz or in any art form, they've always been talented and they've always been amazing. So uh, in burlesque we call them living legends. Like we, we study with them and that's one of the most the nice things about Jazz Ascona is that all the musicians get to actually talk. And so you're talking with people who are perhaps older than you that have been around and you're learning from their stories, not just from them musically on stage, but from them personally as artists. And um, the, the biggest difference I've seen is a lot more control. And specifically with women, but I think over the overall, it's not so much a musician just focuses on the art and lets a manager book them, but the musician wants to be involved the performer wants to be involved in every aspect, so it truly is relevant to them and showcases who they are, which I like. I went to. <laughs> and now here we are. I love it. Here we are in Switzerland. <laughs> Ta-da. That's awesome. That's really cool.